am a 10, a 10 out of 10. If you want to rate me and you ask me to rate me, it's a... All right, nah, hold on. I know I be struggling to light this month, but if, if she about to do this, this one has to, it has to get lit. Somebody in the comment section said you got to just barely put the flame on it and it's going to light up. Oh, snap. That's the truth. We got to get a lit for this one. A 10, period, point blank, because who's rating me a 2? Specifically, men who are broke, men who can't afford a woman like me, a high standard, high value woman like me. So they really don't have an opinion on this matter. I'm a 10 out of 10 because I am. This person says the market gives you your value, not yourself. Okay, so who is the market, though? Because if you're talking men. about the busted broke boys in my comments, they wouldn't even get a chance with me. So their vote doesn't count because I don't want them. <laughs> like, why would I care what they rate? I didn't think it was that much petrol in this world. I don't know what type of diesel they gas a hub with. But that that shit is uh potent. Somebody's gas a hub with some potent diesel. It doesn't matter, it's irrelevant. They can't afford to be at the table. They can't afford a seat at the table. If we're talking about market value, the six figure men, your and market seven figure crashed. Men that I date, that have taken me out on dates, that have treated me like a queen, a princess, they're going to rate me a 10 out of 10. And that's why they're taking me out, spending money on me, and taking good care of your girl because they have a voice, they have an opinion on this, they have a vote. Someone who couldn't even afford a McDonald's date, even though I wouldn't go on a McDonald's date. Why would you have a vote? I have you this look one like guy a bag of Mickey D's. Take like, one look at me and beg to take me on a first date to Universal Studio. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. <laughs> plus dinner, plus anything I wanted because he was just so amazed. And I am a 10. You know, I don't want to be mean, but at the same time, you have to meet people with equal force. And since this lady has been popping up on my timeline, it has never been a video where she's speaking in the positive light of men. With me saying that somebody's gassing her up with diesel, yeah. You know what's about to happen. It be gang gang until your family need money for your funeral or the bros got to come bail you out. You feel me? The way he sounded on that phone, boy, y'all better hope he don't know nothing about nothing. <laughs> y'all better hope he don't know nothing about nothing because... Who? Who? What did you say? That's not respectfully. I didn't ask you to comment on my appearance. Don't do that. Don't do that. All the man said is, you can be a model. That's all he said. You can be a model. But there's more. So I got a lot of comments on this video laughing at me because this guy said that I could be a model and they think that telling me this is going to basically tell me that I'm ugly. And I know the response you guys are trying to get out of me. You're trying to get me to react and post like a thirst trap to say like, see, I am hot. The whole point of the video is that male validation means nothing. It's worthless. 
Y'all give your validation to dead bodies and animals and children. So, you know, it's just meaningless. Which also means that insults are even more meaningless. Because I just don't put stock in your opinions. And here's the thing. At the end of the day, unless I'm interested in you, I want you to think that I look like a bridge troll. I want you to think that I'm a gremlin, that you wouldn't touch with a ten-foot pole. Please stay the fuck away from me. I want you to think, man, she's weird looking and she's kind of crazy. I'm going to stay away from her. Why is it not working? I just want to know, how am I supposed to approach you? If I'm attracted to you, am I not supposed to say nothing? At the same time, you said unless I'm interested in you, I want you to think I look like a bridge troll. Okay, so now let's put the shoes on the other foot. If you're interested in me, and I act how you're acting right now, we're going nowhere. That's it. All you have to say is thank you and keep it pushing. If he continues to go further, hey, I'm not interested. That's it. Why do we have to get into this political mumbo jumbo about male validation and this, that, and that? Like, Everybody want to be a freedom fighter for bullshit. Like, what are you fighting against? What have us, the members of the penis community, done to y'all? Pause. I got to find something. I got to find something else. Because I got SWA, uh, Single Women's Association. I got to find something for us. Because we ain't doing nothing to y'all. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I didn't know stuff like this existed until I guess I started reacting to these type of videos. So now that's all that my that's all that's on my Instagram feed. I didn't know it was this much hatred out there. Y'all, why are men so fucking weird? So this dude called me at eight o'clock in the morning. I'm like, hello. He like, hello. He like, what you doing? I'm like, just woke up. Like you woke me up out of my sleep. He like, I'm sorry, my granddad just died. Immediately, I'm irritated because I don't like when people. I don't like trauma dump on me i don't really know what to say to the fact that your granddad just died so i'm like you okay he like no i'm like was y'all close he like yeah he told me how to spell my name and everything he like i'm so disgruntled right now i'm like oh okay i'm sorry for your love bro hold on bro before i let this this bs continue like i don't like when people i don't like trauma dump on me but at the same time you would keep people you don't like in your contact so you can call them and use them yeah, I have certain conversations. I'm pretty sure he might have took you on a date or two. So my thing is, right, why waste this man's time? Lost, because I didn't want to be an asshole or whatever. He goes to say, can I come lay with you? Can you come over? I said, okay. He said, yeah, I just need somebody to take my mind off everything that's going on. Why the f*** does that have to be me? But, okay, I said, okay. He said, yeah, when you get here, can I kiss you from your toes to your to your forehead? I said, I thought you were grieving. He said, yeah, but I just really need to eat some pussy right now. <laughs> what? How did this take a sharp <gasps> left turn? I'm so confused. Y'all, why are... Let me tell y'all what was going on. He been on her ass for months. She ain't going. Grandpa died. He figured, all right, I'm finna get some pity pussy. That's all that was. I I've used that before, but nobody died. Um, damn, my wife has to sleep. Call her ass down here. But I wasn't acting, bro. I was really distraught. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what happened. So we had an incident happen at my at my high school where we were walking to go see a fight and we ended up bumping into some some other kids. An altercation ensued and one of the people I was with got knocked out. He went to sleep. I'm talking about <laughs> Now, although I was I've been boxing and shit, I have never seen nobody go to sleep before. Right? The ambulance came and got him. He was still asleep when they got him. And they took him to the hospital. My whole walk home, I thought he died. I thought I witnessed a homicide. So at the time, my wife now was my girlfriend. And I'm talking on the phone with her. And I'm, I just wasn't. I'm like, damn, yo. I think he did. Like, I was just distraught. And she could tell. And she decided to sneak to my house. And that was the first time she ever came to my house. 
first time. And I feel as though I almost took her virginity that night. I almost took her virginity that day. <laughs> yeah. I'm one of those. But at the same time, I didn't do it on purpose. She volunteered to come over there. Bro, that's his wife that just picked him up like that. I don't know, bro. I don't know about all that. I don't. I mean, he swole as hell. He probably beat my ass, but I don't. I don't know about my woman just picking me up like that. I. Mm -mm. What's your type? My type. I ain't got no type. Don't got no type. I ain't got no sight. So a dude could be this little still bagging? He could, he could be that little or still bagging. What's up? She cap, but all right, so I, look. I cap, what's up? All right, bet. So how much a dude got to make a year to be with you? He don't got to make nothing a year. As long as he keep me good and he good, that's all that matter. Straight up, that's it? That's all that matter. What age do you think a dude should have life together? I hear that. I hear that accent. She she want hours. She, she, she want hours. You know what I'm saying? She want hours. <clears throat> I say something out of pocket. Ain't no age. At the end of the day, everybody get their shit differently. So you feel, feel me? me? Like, have their shit talk that talk. You feel me? Shit together at thirty-seven. Like right. it's different. Everybody don't have their shit together at a certain time. Ain't no age on that shit. Ain't no gap. I fuck with a nigga that's twenty-five. I fuck with a nigga that's forty-seven. What's up, baby? Yeah. What's up? What's up? So tight. What's up? Tight. I ain't got no type. Mm. Thoughts out my mind. But I feel where she coming from. I feel where she coming from. You feel me? Like. They in prison. Are they in prison? Yeah, I see the pictures on the wall, the slant door. They in prison, bro. The CO is in there smoking weed with them. And all the prisoners that look like got cell have cell phones. This is the second video in a row I've reacted to. And it seemed like people in prison having fun. <laughs> 